Alidawa, actually, Alidawa, you look kind of scary. You look like, kind of like the Iblis, Iblis' little retarded nephew. Whoa, 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 hold, hold up. Time out, time out. Flag on the plate, traveling, offside, clipping, hold up. Well, first thing is you're assuming that the devil himself is not retarded. Lol. And number two, you're assuming that the devil was in some sort of committed relationship. <laughs> the logic just don't balance out. If you want to cuff somebody, do it properly mate, it's gotta make sense. And to be fair, statements like this, it makes people not respect you as a person my bro. And it pours water over the good work that you have done and the good reputation that you have built because it shows yourself to be somebody that's weak, that's childish, emotional. I need to give you some da'wah now. I'm hitting you up. I need to give you some da'wah, boy. Call me Adam Da'wah. I'm what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to this special episode of Smile to Jannah. Why? <coughs> because you guys are here and you make it more special. Alright guys, so I uploaded a video uh, yesterday, I think, to do with that whole issue that happened with Adam Saleh and his TikTok video. And yeah, I broadcasted his apology and he called Ali Dawa a phony. And yeah, I just gave a bit of extra information that you guys probably didn't know about, about Ali Dawa and how I don't think he's a phony. Alright guys, before we even start the video, I wanted to give a few clarifications from the previous video because some people might click off or whatnot. So um, this whole drama about Adam Saleh kissing his girlfriend on a TikTok video is the main issue. Yeah, that's what everybody has a concern about. You know how many people look up to you, bro? A lot of them are Muslim. Majority of them are what? Muslim. You They're know Muslim. This, correct? You're, you're their idol. You're a person that they look up to. 100% bro. So for all those people, it gives them the wrong thought bro. If I was their parent and they're watching that, I wouldn't take it the right way. I'm telling you straight up. Those are words that they use bro. Is Adam a right? And what are we supposed to say Adam? Like, what are we supposed to say to Adam? I couldn't say it's a prank. I couldn't. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's right in front of the face. But somehow, Adam has made it seem like Ali has responded to him and Ali's turned this into an issue. Ali hasn't made a single video about this. In fact, even the comments, Ali commented on somebody else's video about something else and it started off by saying, the doors of repentance are always open. And listen to what they said. Oh, the, the, the door of the repentance are, are closed on this dude. But the gates of heaven is not ever open for him. The doors of repentance are always open. His friend has misconstrued that to Adam, got him all worked up in the video. Oh, that scares God, yeah. me! That scares yeah, me yeah, when yeah, he yeah. see it! And then Adam just went into it. You can check what Ali has actually contributed to this. He, he hasn't. You are a phony, Ali. That was a phony, bro. And I say that straight to your face. If I his most views videos is of me and Slim. I don't want and that's very interesting because some people are saying that Ali makes videos to clout chase. Yeah, if there was any situation to clout chase, it's this situation. Yeah, he'd be making videos left, right, and center, and he hasn't. Some people say Ali's called him the Jal or called him names or this and that. Where? I've, I know all the videos of Ali where he's responded to Adam and he has spoken to him with respect, not name called him, not being aggressive. Where on earth is this coming from? You know what I'm saying? Give me the timestamps. Give me the video links and if you can prove it to me, I will retract what I've said. I've got a lot of messages uh, showing that people really appreciated the fact that I came to his defense because a lot of people have benefited from this, let's face it, handsome looking individual. <laughs> Of course there were a few people that obviously without watching the video they were projecting their own insecurities about the da'wah onto me and onto the video. And I get that whatever you're going through may Allah make it easy even if you got something off your chest by typing it into the comments or whatnot that's good you're communicating your problems but instead of projecting your problems onto me maybe speak and communicate with the person that is actually frustrating and annoying you. Because we only meet the people how we meet ourselves. So quite a few people were saying, Don't talk about it. Why are you talking about it? Now I'll tell you why it is important for me to talk about it. Well, 
the video in which they're insulting Ali, there's like five, six of them, yeah, and they have big followings. And if you look on the Dawa side, who has a significant following that is giving Dawa to the youth that's known in the Dawa scene other than Ali Dawa? Dawood. So considering it's just Ali, and then on the other side, no one with a significant platform that can relate with the audience that is obviously being affected is going to speak out. Yeah, people know me. I don't bash people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't do refutation videos. I don't think I've done a single refutation video. And to be fair, guys, with regards to the work that Ali's done, he has approached mega Islamophobes in this country face to face, be it Tommy Robinson, be it Jada from Britain's First. Uh, face to face on speaker's corner every other week yeah so these people are defending the honor of Allah and his prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so for me to defend him and other people in the dawah it's an honor Mashallah, brother. and the fact that because Ali's done a lot of work and if people start thinking negatively about him because of the profound followings of the people that are speaking against him, it doesn't make sense for him to solely defend himself. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I'm defending Ali by telling you guys his positive things and suddenly some people think, oh my god, why? Why not? Like how messed up do you have to be? to be concerned when somebody is just giving you an elucidated and a bigger picture about a person that just gets on with himself. The other thing was um, Ali shouldn't have spoken against Adam. Well, if somebody has made a following from making Islamic content and they've now got Muslim viewers and now suddenly they, they want to do un-Islamic stuff, you should know you will be called out on it. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't just come and use um, the Muslims and the community and then just exit whenever you want sort of thing. Again, I'm not saying he's done that, but what I'm saying is he has um, made some questionable videos, yeah, to do with weed, kissing women. That ain't a good thing, is it? <laughs> no, well. Those of you that think, oh, exposing, I'm sorry, his, his channel, his exposure and him being known within the Muslim community is far more significant then smile to Jannah. I'm a very small channel um, in comparison to that. So that clearly does not make any sense whatsoever. Of course, Ali did DM. The first thing you do is you try to approach the person, yeah, um, via DMs and in person. And Ali did do that, yeah. And um, the next step is you have to speak against what they're doing. Otherwise, silence when people are doing stuff like this is tacit approval. And you're inviting other people to come use the Muslim community to get their views and then do whatever they want. But I'm sorry, we have vulnerable, we have innocent kids that watch these YouTubers and aspire to be like them. And if nobody is speaking out, then obviously it's not wise in the slightest. I mean, how can somebody be suggesting that? Or just stay quiet, are you offending him? I don't care. And guys, I have to say, those of you that are insulting Adam, it doesn't make any sense. Please, that's not how we give da'wah. Yeah, that's not how we invite people. If you are somebody that's claiming to be following the commands of Allah shown by the Prophet wasallam, then there needs to be a difference between how you act and how somebody that isn't following Allah and His Prophet as they should be, uh, there needs to be some sort of difference. If you are putting someone off the religion more, then you need to take a back seat sort of thing. Yeah, If you can't speak to somebody with respect, um, with love, I mean even when Musa salam, yeah, when Allah sent Musa salam to speak to the Pharaoh, Allah told him to speak gently. Yeah, So of course there needs to be an element of respect and decorum. Now, Adam saying stuff that he said to Ali. You look like Iblis's little retarded nephew. When I'm going to be honest, when I first saw it, I was not happy. That's polite for furious. You can't be saying that about my friend. If you said that to his face, I would immediately stand up and be like, yo, no, no. Watch the way you speak to my bro. Yeah, you got a problem. Let's talk it out. Don't you dare call him that. Obviously, I had to kind of compose myself and be calm or whatnot because that's, I mean, if you are telling somebody how to deal with something, you need to do it with the etiquettes of 
the religion. You can't just come and, you know, with all emotion and all guns blazing sort of thing. Yeah, and some people were saying, oh, why are you, why are you calling Al, uh, Adam out? If somebody is calling Adam out, Adam needs to ask himself, and you need to be that self-aware that ask yourself, am I doing something wrong that I'm being called out for? If it's wrong, correct it. If you don't want to be corrected by Ali, go and speak to somebody else. I mean, Mufti Menks reached out to you. You know what I'm saying? So that doesn't make sense. I don't know why people are making it seem like, oh, why why was he being called out? I'm sorry, you get called out if you do something wrong, especially if you, you are utilizing the Muslim community and now suddenly you're going against that, you are going to be called out. And does that justify Adam insulting Ali, swearing and, you know, um, behaving, shouting at him? I'm sorry, but if Ali had done this, there would be uproar, but it's happening here and suddenly, oh, he's going through something. The intervention video where Adam swearing and shouting at Ali, that could have easily be edited out. That wasn't a live video, but the fact that it was left in, doesn't that raise questions? Like why was that left in? And I do like the fact that you guys have invited Ali to your podcast. I think it will be good if you guys sit face to face, if there's a camera there, and I think that will be good. And um, yeah, I think that's a big step in the right direction. Hope you guys have benefited. I'm going to leave it there. The videos, uh, don't want the video to be too long because obviously people don't watch it and then they assume you've said one thing, but you know what I'm saying? Make sure you call me. What? No, don't, don't call him, no. I think it's the cupping. Call him. No, don't call me either. <laughs> Just subscribe. <laughs>